Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Let's look at another topic. We have discussed the word population. We have discussed the word uh, uh, commercial activities. Now let's look at the word settlement. Now let's start from defining what settlement is. A settlement can be defined as a collection of buildings. Collection of buildings. Of buildings. With people. Living in what? In them. A collection of buildings with people living in them. So, having known or seen the divination of a, a settlement, now let's look at factors that encourage settlement. What motivate people to settle in an area? Factors encouraging settlement. Factor encouraging settlements. Number one, we talk about accessibility. When the place is accessible to people, it can draw people to come and settle there. Then, number two, we have availability of water. You know, water is life. So wherever you have access to portable water, people can what? People can settle there. Number two, three, sorry, we talk about what? Soil fertility. Where people can carry out their farming activities. It can attract people to that place. Then, number four, which is very important is what security so these four factors encourage people you know to a certain area to settle you know in an environment that these are the factors that encourage people to settle classification 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 or settlement. Number one, we are going to look at classification of settlement according to types. This one is according to types. Under this, what we have, we have, we talk about rural settlement. Rural settlement. Rural settlement. This rural settlement include what? We talk about homestead. Homestead. Then we look at what? We look at farm. To farmstead. Then it graduates to hamlets. Graduate to what? To village. And it graduate to what? It graduate to town. Then graduate to what? To urban center. That is classification of settlement according to what? According to... Uh, type then here we have urban urban settlements under it we have what we have town it leads to what city and uh, city leads to metropolis 
metropoli leads to what we call conurbation then conurbation leads to what leads to megalopolis that is classification of settlement according to types we have rural and urban settlement under rural it started from homestead from homestead homestead what we mean by homestead is a settlement that have only one man and his wife then this homestead can graduate to a farmstead where people move to farm and settle it can be two three people but they are scattered from there it graduate to hamlet hamlet you have maybe five four houses separated scattered then it moves to village where we have a population less than 100 then it graduate to what to town and probably to urban centers then you talk about urban settlement it start from town town to city city to metropoli metropoli is a type of settlement where you have you know two cities growing together understand but they have their boundary in terms of conurbation is have two three cities going coming together but each city maintain their what they maintain their identity so then we have a megalopolis that is the coming together of many of conurbation now let's look at classification classification of settlement according to according to what according to shape this one is according to what according to types here we have dispersed settlements that is a settlement that you have they are dispersed we have what we have linear settlement according to shape linear settlement this is settlement that you find it along the transportation network it can be rail it can be road then we have nucleated nucleated settlement you have a settlement clustered very clustered together this type of settlement is called nucleated settlement so we have settlement classification according to types another form of classification according to what according to functions this one is according to functions then according to functions we have what we have um, a market town we have market town we have a uh, industrial town industrial town then we have what administrative town administrative town then we have what commercial who can give me example of one of these towns in Nigeria when we talk about market town this is a type of town that can you know come together as a result of market maybe it's a weekly market by weekly market also industrial town who can give me one example of industrial town and you remember any industrial town that we have in Nigeria okay some maybe uh, places like uh, Ajukuta because of the the setting up of uh, iron and steel industry then administrative town like abuja administrative headquarters of nigeria commercial town like kano aba onicha these are commercial towns so these are classification of towns based on what based on on the functions then finally according to size According to size classification, we talk about town, city, metropolis, 
conurbation and megalopolis. So with this, we have treated what word settlement is. We have discussed what settlement is, the collection of buildings with people living in them. And we look at what encourages people to come together. Talk about access roads, security, water, and fertile soil. Then we look at classification of settlement according to types, according to functions, according to size, according to shape. 